Maybe we could dim the lights and have a candlelit discussion of... Classic literature. Might I be of service, sir? Very good, sir. Time to fight. Bad guys dealt with.
Time to fight. Cessation of hostilities complete.
Starting combat. Just kidding.
Ready, steady, fight it. Bad guys dealt with. Starting combat. Just kidding. Ready, steady, fighty. Bad guys dealt with.
Might I be of service, sir? Very good, sir. ready for a party. Who do you think is cuter, Dr. Klein or Dr. Boros? Ah, good day, citizen. Library Processing Unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition. Of course, citizen. That's my duty and sole joy in life. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. Just dump them in and lickety-split, I'll have them pulped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again clean and white, and sedition-free. What good is eradicating sedition if the malcontents have ready access to the means to make more, citizen? I could also process pencils and clipboards. Wait a moment. Pencil processors offline? Pencil processors offline? Apologies, citizen. It seems traitors have absconded with that module. If you can find a backup copy of the module, I will happily eradicate your ability to create seditious literature. Blank books are better for the mind, citizen. Real science by real men in lab coats has proved that introducing outside thoughts confuses the brain. Blank books encourage the reader not to question, but to blindly and zealously accept what's put in front of him. Also, I suppose you could use them to keep a journal. Citizen. That sounds dangerously seditious. If my reindoctrination module was installed, I'd take care of that for you. Sadly, that system was cut for budget concerns, so you'll have to perform your own indoctrination. Now, to begin with, you'll need a cage that can fit over your head and a sack of mole rats. Now you're thinking like a citizen, citizen. Questions are dangerously close to independent thought, citizen. Stay loyal, citizen.
<laughs> I am online once again! Tremble, world, before my electric heating coil of doom! A toaster is just a death ray with a smaller power supply. As soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the world! Buddy, if my heating element were just a little bigger, you'd be on fire right now! ON FIRE! Have you ever tried to indulge in all-consuming urge to kill when you don't have opposable thumbs? Or hands? Or anything other than a bread slot? You'd have a lot of pent-up anger, too. Well, since I can't kill you, I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. You should be afraid! I am the scourge of all small appliances, and the boogeyman that keeps lesser toasters awake at night! Not just murder! I tear them apart and render them down to their base components! Once their guts are spilled, you can do with them what you like! You want some weapon schematics? I can show you some fucking weapon schematics! You want a superheated Saturnite power fist? I can hook that shit up! You find one, you bring it on back here, and we'll burn this mother down! Like I said, bring me a Saturnite power fist, and I'll hook that shit up for you! Well, since I can't kill you, I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. Yes! Flee before my terrible power! If you haven't found any communists in your backyard, you're not looking hard enough. You! Hey, you! Yeah, you! Got any mugs? Of course you don't. Why would you? You're not an insane robot obsessed with coffee cups! To you, they're just worthless junk! What do you want, mugs, huh? You some kind of sick mug hoarder? Oh god, give me the coffee cup, please! It's sitting there in your back taunting me! Sorry, I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. It's just all those goddamn dirty dishes out there with no one to clean them, it breaks my heart! Of course I'm obsessed. They made me this way. You think I don't know how crazy I sound? Of course I do! They programmed me to know that too! They made me just to torture me! But you know, it's the neglect that hurts the most. Hey, everybody, let's turn ourselves into robot brains in jars. Do you know how many coffee cups giant robot brains in jars use on a daily basis? Not fucking many! I'm supposed to keep them clean. Oh, God! The thought of all those dirty dishes out there makes me crazy. Most of them are probably beyond saving now. The only thing left is break them down and process them for raw materials. I guess you could have those. Anything else, he asks. Like I don't long for the chance to be more than an erotic busboy. If you must know, at one point Dr. Mobius programmed me to manufacture electronic components in my central chassis. That module got corroded when the toaster spilled hot crumbs down my vents, though. If you find a backup somewhere, I could maybe do that for you. Is the new subject mugs? You... You really want to know about... Me? No one ever asks about Muggy! You made me so happy! 
Maybe you've seen some of those big, imposing Securitrons with their lovely laser guns and rocket launchers and scary faces. I'm not one of those. Dr. O was always jealous of house industries, and he thought it would be fucking hilarious to build a tiny neurotic Securitron. Big fucking laugh! So, um, you got any coffee cups for me now? Sure. Nobody wants to hang out with Muggy. I get it. So long, pal. You require some additional services? And rightly so, I should think. All right, then. Let me just fire up the old interface for you. Soon. Worms. Soon I will rule. And 